Hey folks, today I'm taking a look at the third in my series on MBX only titles for the TI-99 4A home computer and the Milton Bradley MBX. This one's the education game I'm Hiding. I'm Hiding was called Bug Hunt during development and early publicity, and that was the name announced at CES, and that pretty much describes what it is. It's hide-and-seek fun with bugs playing peekaboo in a crayon box, or so the catalog says. It comes with an overlay, and like Terry Turtle's Adventure, can use either the keypad overlay or voice recognition during gameplay, as you please. You can even switch back and forth on the go. Also, like Terry Turtle's Adventure, it doesn't use the MBX joystick at all. It's just a simple children's education game, but I think what it does, it does really well. So, let's take a look. And this being a Milton Bradley game, we'll of course get a good intro and some good music. Let's go to play! The bugs all having their own sound and look and personality is definitely key to what this title's trying to do. And this being an MBX game, the next thing we'll have to do is set up our voice command. So, let's say some words. Please repeat big. 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 Please repeat little. Little. Please repeat pencil. Pencil. Please repeat crayon. Crayon. Please repeat jar. Jar. Please repeat brush. Brush. Please repeat red. Red. Please repeat blue. Blue. Please repeat green. Green. Please repeat yellow. Yellow. Please repeat purple. Purple. Please repeat big. Big. Please repeat little. 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 Please repeat pencil. Pencil. Please repeat crayon. 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 Please repeat jar. Jar. Please repeat brush. Brush. Please repeat red. Red. Please repeat blue. Blue. Please repeat green. Green. Please repeat yellow. Yellow. Please repeat purple. Purple. Time to meet the dumb bugs, whose voices and personalities are really the star of the show here. Admit it, you want to be as cool as Bebop when you grow up. Let's go to play!
All right, we got bugs, we got hiding places. Let's find some dumb bugs. And first, using voice commands. Picture. Pencil. Pencil. Color. Yellow. Yellow. Size. Big. Big. Look. Not here. Try again. Picture. Crayon. Crayon. Color. Green. Big. Big. Look. You are five and try again. Picture. Brush. Brush. Color. Red. Red. Look. You are close and try again. Picture. Jar. Jar. Blue. Blue. Look. You are close and try again. Picture. Crayon. Crayon. Color. Green. Green. Size. Big. Big. Look. You are five and try again. Picture. Pencil. Pencil. Color. Purple. Brush. Brush. Color. Blue. Blue. Look. You are close and try again. Picture. Jar. Jar. Color. Purple. Purple. Look. You are close and try again. Picture. Jar. Jar. Color. Yellow. Yellow. Look. You are very close. Try again. Picture. Pencil. Pencil. Color. Red. Red. Look. Hooray! Victory is mine, and I am arguably as smart as a five-year-old. So, time to try the same thing, but this time using the keypad. As you can see, the second board being built is a more elaborate one, with more items to choose from and, well, more places for those bugs to hide. Ah, uh, Bebop, my extremely cool nemesis. We meet once again. I'm high. Incidentally, my wife finds these bugs' little robotic exclamations pretty darn creepy. Can't really blame her really is just the perfect combination of entomophobia and uncanny valley. Pederoba entomophobia, I've decided this shall be called. Fear of robot insect children. Picture? Color? Size? Try 
try again. Picture, color, color, size, look. You are very close. Try again. Picture, color, look. Hooray, victory is mine. Thanks for taking in this fun little kids game with me, folks. This is Pixel Pedden, signing off.